Ron, I know you're not happy with the result, but you had a lot of offensive time, a lot more than you've had in recent games, haven't you, as far as puck possession and you know, being getting some good offensive time and good push in there? Yeah, it was a it was a good push for our guys. It was, uh, you know, we, we were down 5-2 and we, we fought and scratched and clawed, and that was great, great to see that effort, especially in a back-to-back. Um, you know, you're playing a team that's rested. I thought the second period there were moments where we we showed some fatigue signs and, and uh, a little bit of lapse, but when they were, you know, pushed and it was brought to their attention, the guys fought through it hard and, um you know, gave ourselves a chance to come back in, and it just didn't happen. So, but the effort was there, and and, uh, and the progress was there. It was nice to see some of the young guys, uh, the older guys push. I think Zemgus and and uh, Oki were great in that in response and leading the way. And I thought some young guys like Dylan and uh, Dolls played close to 60 minutes in the last 24, 27 hours here. I thought he was great, um, and Tomer was was great as well. So. Some positives there. Yeah, what's it like for you to see those young guys really take charge the way they did tonight, whether it be Tom or Dylan responding the way you'd like him to after a mistake on the one goal? Yeah. And just all, you know, it, it's all about responding. I mean, you know, I said it a uh, few things even when I, when, when I first spoke to you guys months ago. You know, we need to play hard. We need to play an exciting game and it's the only way we're going to get better we need to get better we need to progress we need to push and I'm very happy that uh, not only they push but they're starting to feel the progress they're starting to feel themselves get better and better and uh, playing with that type of confidence where they can even if there's a mistake they feel they can overcome it and that's really important talked a lot about this cages you know the enormous amount of potential he has are we starting to see him Yeah, yeah. I, I think Tage has reached a, a, a spot where he's exciting to watch. I mean, he can, he can keep you on the edge of your seat because you, he's capable right now. But as far as his potential, it's I don't think we're seeing anything close to what he's going to become. We just need to keep get, getting him in situations, and um, his confidence will grow and grow. And um, you know, he's he's starting to learn how valuable his size is his strength is he's starting to realize how strong he is holding six foot four defenseman off until he can make a play which is you just don't find many guys in the league that can do that and he's starting to starting to do that and i think when he does it enough he's going to realize how powerful that is and really take advantage of it um so it is uh it's a long way there's a lot of potential there for but it's it's fun to see it but no points. How do you make sure four goals is enough? Yeah, you know, um, I guess there's lots of different ways to look at it. I think we we might have had three power play goals. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but that was something that wasn't clicking, and it's nice to get that going. Obviously, Olofsson back is a big help there. Um, but, yeah, eight goals is, is great. You know, it's, it's tough to score goals in this league. Um, I think the best teams in this league – I've, I've always said it, you know, defense is essential, but it's pretty simple, defensive side of the game. Scoring goals is really hard, and and uh, lots of teams can't, you know, outscore their mistakes. The best teams outscore their mistakes. It's just that simple. The best teams outscore their mistakes because uh, they, make, they make mistakes too. And uh, so it's nice to see us, uh, you know, fight through and have the ability to score. Obviously, we needed one more tonight, and that's disappointing. Don, has the coach in the middle of – such a busy week. This isn't your only back-to-back this week. How are you going to be able to guide these young players along to be able to put together that full 60 minutes? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, we're, we're evolving. So, you know, I don't know that there's any magic to being able to say we, we do it. Uh, I think we just have to push through it and grind through it. Darlene is a gr- good example. He was really good last night in playing almost half the game, or whatever it was, 27 minutes or so around last night. And then again tonight, uh, another 26 minutes. And he was good. I mean, he, he looked like he had, he was dynamic. He was in the zone. And and that's because he didn't carry any mental stress, any mental baggage. Um, he, he goes out there and he's looking, feels like he can get opportunity, and we need the rest of the guys to do that. You know, when you feel like you're down and you can't accomplish, uh, you get tired a lot faster. And so we need to have that uh, mentality and just fight through it. Coach, what happened in that stretch, that three and a 
half minute stretch and basically lost you in a hockey game. What, what happened there? Yeah, I, I think um, it was odd. I think everybody everybody could say you know it was odd that you know Ticker didn't look like himself. There were some simple you know bounces and things that happened, and and so you know I don't know that you can explain it, Paul. Um, you know, it happened, and you got to respond. And, you know, we we worked from that point. We couldn't overcome it. Coach, from a fundamental standpoint, can you explain some of the struggles that the team is having on defense as far as, I mean, five goals against uh, Toronto, five goals with Calgary, five, uh, seven tonight, five with the Rangers. Just can you explain from just a fundamental standpoint some of the struggles that you have? Well, you know, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of goals scored in the league. First of all, there's a lot of great players in the league, and you know, so you 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 have to. There's there's two sides to it, uh, obviously, but uh, you know we we've said it all along. There's there's a couple things. We're we're going to play an up tempo style of game, and we're we're going to have to evolve. And we're young. We're we're evolving every day. We're working to get better every day, um, and. You know, we want that up-tempo game, and um, it's that's not going to change. Obviously, the goals, can you explain goals? It's, you know, goals happen in part of, part of the game, and, you know, I don't uh, – it's just part of the process. That's all I can tell you. Um, you know, we've got to obviously outscore our, score our opponents, and we work to do that every night. We'll continue to do that every night.